What's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a Tommy Hilfiger video. Today, I'm giving you the most current tour of my Tommy closets. As you can see behind me, these are all my Tommy Hilfiger belongings. All the Tommy stuff that I've collected throughout the years is in, in this, this space. space. I like to call this my closet, but officially this is actually my studio. Right now we are in my loft, which in one month I will be moving. I and my partner officially purchased our first home. So I'm super excited, but what that means is another chapter in our life. And I will of course be dedicating a room to all my Tommy Hilfiger stuff yet again. So before I go packing everything up, I figured let's hang out. Let's do an updated closet tour because the last time I actually did a Tommy closet tour was back in 2020, I believe. And um, things have changed since then. So today's video, we're gonna hang out. I'm gonna show you the goods. I'm gonna show you how I organize my Tommy products, show them off, display them, and make sure they're acknowledged and appreciated, of course. If you're interested, grab yourself a snack, perhaps a drink, and keep on watching. I know this angle might be a little weird, but hey, I'm filming this video myself using a tripod and we're gonna make the best of it and make it work, of course. So everything you see in this video is Tommy Hilfiger. If it's not Tommy Hilfiger, then um, you're seeing things. <laughs> For real, everything is Tommy Hilfiger in this closet. So what I'm most excited about to share is how I organize all of my Tommy Hilfiger collection. So I literally have a home for everything, whether it's accessories, jewelry, button down shirts, polos, t-shirts that have just the logo on the chest. Every single Tommy Hilfiger piece in this closet has a special spot. So we're gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna try to not like make this video too long and boring. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start off right now with my racks. You know what? I'm actually gonna film this video vlog style because I feel like that's more personal and that's the experience I wanna provide for this. So let's go. To the racks we go. So these right here are my rolling racks that I have special for all my Tommy Hilfiger uh, kind of like special shirts. Everything that I put on these racks are Tommy pieces that I actually wear often-ish. And um, as you can see, we have all button downs. Everything from like right here to like here are button downs. Then we have some long sleeve polos. And I have a lot of polos on here that are kind of just not your normal Tommy Hilfiger polos, but special ones. For example, I have like this Tommy Hilfiger, I think this is like a soccer polo, and it says Germany on there, I am German, and that is pretty cool. We're just gonna toss him aside. Let's see what else we have. I absolutely love this long sleeve polo. I mean, not a lot of people actually wear long sleeve polos, at least in my area, so whenever I wear this, I'm feeling a little special. And we just have some really cool pieces over here. A lot of this stuff is brand new and thrifted, which is a, a trend you'll see in my Tommy closet. Not everything is new. Most of this is like a mix of vintage, thrifted, and brand new. So we have a sustainable approach. You know what I mean? Probably my favorite garments in this entire closet are my Tommy Hilfiger button downs. I absolutely love a good button down. There's so much you could do with them. You could wear them oversized and just flowy and casual. You could wear them more formal. Like there's so many things you could do with a good button down. That's all that is right here, like I said. So I have a pretty good collection, a lot of rare ones, ones that you don't see too often, kind of like this multi-toned plaid moment, which I live for. Um, this one is very cool. This one kind of is giving me like very Y2K vibes. We have the stripe with plaid, solid back, very sick. I also, let's see what else is a good one here. Um, oh, I have one that I did a little photo shoot in. Thinking that this was going to catch Tommy Hilfiger's attention and like put me in a campaign, needless to say, it didn't, but I absolutely love this. So like, this is probably one of my favorite Tommy Hilfiger pieces that I own by far. It's giving me like such preppy, rebelde, gossip girl type vibes, and I live for this shirt. But a lot of these are mixed. I have a lot of pastels, um, some cool pieces from like the Heritage Collection right here which I love. This is just, it's an XXL, so it's a little big on me. I bought this on the clearance rack. Otherwise, I never would have purchased something this large, but oh my God, it is a beautiful piece. Now in this rack, we have all sweaters. Everything on here is either a sweater or a sweatshirt. So like I have a couple sweatshirts back here and a lot of pieces that are from capsules, for example. Ugh. 
This is from the Love the World. You can see a little smiley face there. Love the World capsule from 2021. I'm just going to put her right there. And it is so stuffed to the point that it's hard to like remove things from here and um, put them back in place. So I just have so many really cool sick pieces that are within this whole rack and winter is like six months in pennsylvania so trust and believe i get a good use out of every single sweater right here i have my romeo hunts tommy hilfiger blazer which i've not had the opportunity to wear just yet because tommy hilfiger has not invited me to anything runaway related just yet so once i get that opportunity i will be wearing this perhaps and uh we have some robes i and a roby. I love wearing robes. These ones are my Tommy pieces. Um, oh, as you have or maybe not noticed, this is my backdrop for my studio where I film a lot of my skincare, wellness style videos. That's that's what's on on this half of the closet. So again, this is my studio, not just my Tommy closet. It's everything wrapped in one. Um, so the robe. This is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger robe. I freaking love this. See the little crest right there. And this one I just got at Macy's, um, I would say back in November of 2021, which I still have yet to wear it, but um, I will in the new home. I like to have my Romeo Hunt X Tommy Hilfiger jacket right there in the front of my closet displayed because Romeo Hunt number one is awesome. I've actually exchanged words with him several times. Very cool guy, very sweet. But most importantly, his designs and fashion is incredible if you're not familiar with his work check him out he's a mastermind so on the side of this rack we have some bags i have so many tommy hilfiger bags it's honestly obnoxious this whole thing is full of tommy bags mostly all like little fanny packs and like side bags crossbody type style bags um some very vintage and some that are newish this is from like 2020 um but like this for example this is an oldie a goodie and a uh, incredible piece. I love that. So I, regardless of gender, I just collect Tommy Hilfiger bags. So if I'm at a thrift store, I usually just pick it up regardless. I don't think I'm ever honestly going to wear this, but the goal is to one day have like a Tommy Hilfiger um, sustainable style store. I would love to do that. This is my beach bag. I freaking love this because I actually have a matching beach towel for this. So I had to get the bag to match a towel, of course. Now down here is a bin. So, like, if you couldn't tell, I'm going for kind of, like, an industrial boutique-style vibe. High-end, but yet at the same time, fun and masculine. So, this is just, like, a wired rack that I did not expect to stuff this many pieces in. We have so many Tommy Hilfiger shirts, shorts, just you name it. This is piled to the rim with all, like, Tommy Hilfiger pieces. It's obnoxious. I know it's not that organized. <laughs> I could do a better job, but, you know, this space is what I'm working with, so I needed to make the best out of it. And um, I even have like some more bags back here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is ridiculous. Uh, my partner actually got me this this bag for Valentine's Day one year and I did a Tommy Hilfiger Valentine's Day style video. And I just found this at a thrift store, like a larger version. So unfortunately I'm returning to the office next week, kill me. And I will be using this as my laptop bag. So that worked out pretty well. So now that we're down here, um, these are my shoes. These are my Tommy Hilfiger shoe collection. I have quite a bit. Um, a lot of these you'll see like on my Instagram page on the House of Hilfiger and I wear them all the time. Tommy Hilfiger shoes are so underrated. They're affordable, they're great quality and they're fun. Like this pair right here, I recently just got, they are like a quilted Tommy Hilfiger sneaker type shoe. I still have yet to wear them. I'm saving on till the spring, but like, the style that Tommy comes up with for shoes, they're super unique. Um, I have a lot here. These are, like, my snowshoes, Tommy snowshoes. And I absolutely love these. These are kind of, like, rain Chelsea boots. They are beautiful. Of course, we have that back right there, which is what? Stunning. And, uh, yeah, those are my Tommy shoes. We also have... I'm going to pull this back here. Uh, we have this Tommy Hilfiger beach towel. This is, like, from... I think this is the early 2000s, but this is specifically a Tommy Hilfiger beach towel. Let me focus right there. You see that? And I am afraid to use this, to be honest. Like, I don't want this to be ruined. One of my good friends actually gifted this to me, and I'm kind of obsessed. Not gonna lie. So, we also have this little comfy cozy. There's like a cat hair on there. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger little lounge pillow, and 
when I'm organizing my thoughts and just hanging out, sometimes I want to be surrounded by all things Tommy, I'll sit here and just, you know, drink my, my Starbucks and, and think. It sounds a little crazy, but honestly, I, I do that sometimes. So don't judge me. This, um, this is this angle of the closet. I am going to move on to this shelf next. So let's take a look. This beauty right here, this shelf is basically just a bunch of Tommy Hilfiger uh, memorabilia. But the last rack is clothing. This is just a mix of Tommy Sport, Tommy Hilfiger, like formal stuff. I have some polos. I have some button downs. I have some just random Tommy Hilfiger pieces. And uh, this is... This is what I need to do, guys. I don't have that much space, but next rack, we have a Tommy Bear. And the cool thing is Tommy used to, like, partner with a bunch of different, like, department stores during the holidays. And this is one of those pieces that you would receive if you purchase, like, a cologne or perfume, for example. We got some books. This is a Tommy Hilfiger book. Tommy has actually... Uh, ha he has several books, to be honest. Uh, I have another shelf over here I'll be showing you with Tommy books, but... I'm collecting every single one and it's hard to find them if they're in good condition, to be honest with you. So I've, I've got very lucky so far. Next up, this is something you guys probably are sick and tired of seeing, but I adore Britney Spears. Free Britney. She's free. I'm so happy for her. This is her first collaboration for her first ever world tour, the Baby One More Time tour. And Tommy was a sponsor. So, of course, we have to acknowledge both of those royalty people. <laughs> and, uh, of course, Tommy did the, uh, collection last year with the music edition and have the barbie which has the jean overall set that is inspired by tommy hilfiger some tommy boxes moving on up we have some tommy hilfiger this is all my tommy electronics so everything on here is an electronical device by tommy we have speakers we have headphones um this is oh this is empty but this is from a keychain with a charging type of thingy on it we have headphone, more headphones. Things are a little dusty, you guys. I'm not going to lie, so don't judge me. And we have a mannequin with a Tommy mask and Tommy girl hat. And then a bear with a Tommy paddle. This. All right, guys, we're going to move on to my, my hat rack. I am obsessed with hats, obviously. Oh, I didn't put this bag back. So obviously, I'm obsessed with Tommy Hilfiger bags, if you couldn't tell. And that's exactly what is on this entire rack right here. We have baseball caps. We have the bucket hats. I have a lot of the sport hats like this. I just shared a picture on the House of Hilfiger of my favorite Tommy Hilfiger hats at the moment, which is this one, this one, and this one right here. I just love like the emblem and how like rich it looks. We also have this piece from the pastel collection from 2021. This is a Gigi Hadid Tommy Hilfiger hat. The cat here is unbelievable, but as you can see, Gigi Hadid. And then there's the Tommy. Oh my God, guys, a cat. Please do not judge me. I have five, five cats. So, um, yeah, the cat hair is like going to happen. But I have a lot of just Tommy Hilfiger hats on here. I'm not sure exactly how many, but there's most definitely over like 15, maybe even like 20 some hats. So, yeah, cool. Fun fact, in the next couple hours, my partner and I will be a homeowner. So, instead of sitting around being anxious, I decided to film this video. I had this on my mind to do for a while, and um, I've been anxious, like, all day. So, I just, I need to keep busy. So, that's why we're here. And also, like, I've been meaning to do this before we start packing. So, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Okay, we're going we're gonna to check out this shelf right here. This is probably one of my favorite shelves in the entire closet. If you couldn't already tell, I mean, I feel like I show off this portion of my closet all the time on my House of Hilfiger Instagram page. So top shelf, again, we have a Gigi Hadid X Tommy Hilfiger piece. That's the Barbie. She is immaculate. She is beautiful. She's in literally perfect condition. Here we have a note from the Tommy Hilfiger team when they sent me my first PR package. Um, I've received several from them throughout the years and I'm super grateful and excited to see what the future has in store for me and the company. We have some playing cards. These are actually really sick. They're um. Not in the best condition, as you can see, but there's, it's a full deck of Tommy Hilfiger cards. I have the MTV X Tommy Hilfiger tag right there, just because I love the old school MTV with the music videos and such. Have a little lion stuffed animal, super cute. Another lion stuffed animal. Then we have some boxes right here. This is a box from um, like a holiday gift set. I think it was like a sweater or, or bag or something. This is Tommy Hilfiger Ornaments, which is from a 
Oh my god, that is super dusty. Um, I'm so sorry, guys, but I'm not gonna dust in that mode. That'd be weird. Um, but yeah, this is from like a holiday set from Macy's. Sunglass case from the Romeo Hunt collection, and some cat hair off on the horizon. Next up, we have some shirts, and I'm super proud of like how I displayed these shirts because I love how the Tommy emblem is just like shown off and displayed. And then we have these Tommy jean style shirts, which are all identical, just in different colors. And then we well. Actually, this one's a little bit different, I think. No, maybe not. I think they're all the same. Anywho, these are Tommy Hilfiger books. Of course, like I said, I have the other book, but these are the other Tommy Hilfiger books I have right here. And this is a fragrance by Tommy that I have not actually smelled or reviewed yet. This is the Eau de, Eau de Prep. Okay, we're a little Parisian at the moment, but I actually got this from a shopgoodwill.com, which is like uh, thrift shopping online. That is the packaging. It is super sick. I want to review this. I just have not had the time yet, but I absolutely plan on making a video dedicated towards that. So next up, we have all these Tommy Hilfiger vintage bags. I'm saying vintage because these are solely from like the early 2000s, even maybe even like late 90s perhaps, but a lot of these are in great condition. We have a bucket bag. I love this piece. And we have this one right here i actually would not mind wearing this one myself i probably would wear to be honest with you every single one of these we have a piece in the pride collection we have some weird colored pieces some chocolate pieces and just like tommy hilfiger bags for days now down here we have all my tommy hilfiger winter accessories so all of these are tommy hilfiger scarves every single one i have quite the collection going on obviously the same color palette which i love here we have the hats and this one is my favorite i wear this one quite often um i got this one in winter uh actually this past winter and i still have yet to wear it. i think i wore it like one time this is my go-to we just have like a lot of tommy Hilfiger hats on this side that's pretty much what this all is my winter wear tom hilfiger accessories the creepy mannequin we're gonna talk about this creepy mannequin you guys a lot of you are probably like what the heck is this well um it is a vintage mannequin if you can tell she's attached to some wood a wood plank not in the greatest condition but to, for me i i just really appreciate vintage style and like old world style things so that's what this is but i decided to use it as a statement piece I have the Romeo Hunt dual gender vest bag, which is absolutely stunning. I don't know where to wear this to other than just being like hip on the streets, but Scranton people don't really, you know, wear this style of stuff. So I got to make sure I have the outfit planned out. This is a Tommy Hilfiger silk scarf made in Italy, actually. Um, this is just one of my favorite Tommy Hilfiger accessories. I obviously like have not worn it yet but I use it for decoration <laughs> and I plan on wearing it at some point. So that's what we have going on right here. And I actually have this bag displayed, Tommy Jeans bag, because I've never seen a Tommy Jeans bag. And when they sent me pieces from their uh, UK store, this bag came with those pieces. I love it. So I have to have it on display. Now we have my Tommy here figure accessories. This is my accessory card. We have a lamp of Tommy. And as you can see, like I said, this is in a loft. There's me. I have um, a lookout of my my living space. So that's my my living room. My I'm collecting like a bunch of antique uh, light fixtures at the moment. So that's what's down there. But this is my my accessory accessory <laughs> a sex accessory cart. So I have my colognes right here on a Tommy Hilfiger display that I got from eBay. Um, I actually asked my local Tom Hilfiger store if they can give me some of their stuff they're throwing away display wise. And the lady's like, um, no. So, uh, never asking again. Now we have my Tommy socks. These are all Tommy Hilfiger socks in here. Every single one. Not that you really need to see those, but yeah, they're all Tommy socks. I have a red made Danix. I wear that sometimes in my Tommy pieces. These are my Tommy Hilfiger ties. And I just love how they're in this old sewing machine style um drawer and this was actually my great grandma's so i'm just happy i could include it within my my little boutique and then here we have my tommy hilfiger belts these are all tommy belts um this one is like one of my favorites because like come on 
Look at that emblem. That is so sick. I wish it was a brown leather because I don't really wear black that often, but that's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And then we have like this Tommy belt. Very cool. Very simple. This one is old school right here. Um, if you couldn't tell because of the hardware. Ooh, the hardware is a little dinge, but it's pretty cool. All right. So down here, aside from the, the belt that I dropped, we have just Tommy clothing on the rack, some cat here going on. And uh, these are just pieces that I had nowhere else to put. Also stuff that I got from the capsules that I still have bagged up because obviously like I don't wanna get them ruined. We have, do you see her back there? Miss Britney Spears. Uh, this is my Tommy Hilfiger swimsuit, which this is my favorite. I see a lot of Tommy swimsuits, but this is like the one that I was like, okay, I need that. That is really sick. The tour is coming to an end. We have one last stop and that is this rolling cart right here. So as you can see, a lot of my Tommy Hilfiger jewelry is on here and I plan on doing a dedicated video, just sitting down, trying on some of the vintage jewelry pieces and new pieces and just, you know, chatting Tommy jewelry because I feel like it's underrated for sure. So let's, let's check it out. Let me just move this really quick. My, my little energy fueler that I need that I rely on. But uh, this is actually a cart that I need to clearly do a little bit of retouching on. But I found this um, in the trash and I just refinished it Tommy style. I have the Tommy Hilfiger logo up here and like a stripe on the bottom, which by the way, this is just absolutely packed to the rim, obviously with Tommy Hilfiger pieces. These are all my Tommy pants. I have some sweaters mixed in with button downs, kind of like the same thing that's going on over there. But um this is my Tommy closet. This is the space I have to work with again. So we just, we made it, I made it work, you know, but this is just stuff down here, up here though. This is my Tommy jewelry. I have all necklaces on this rack right here. Every single piece is Tommy Hilfiger. Um, if you didn't miss this or if you missed it, here we are. I actually stopped at Tommy Hilfiger the other day for the President's Day sale and I got a pair of khakis because again, I'm returning to the office kill me and uh we have some tommy accessories right here a lot of just random stuff things that don't fit me but stuff that i wanted anyways for my collection like these bangles we have this y2k watch which i'm absolutely obsessed with it has cute little like butterflies and flowers and stars and stuff on there and i have some keychains some bracelets and earrings i I haven't really wore these in a bit, but when I was like really, really into Y2K style, if that focuses, I would wear this. I don't know why it's not focusing, but anywho, that's all my Tommy Hilfiger jewelry. And we have this for sunglasses, a mug, which I use sometimes. Yeah, this is my second Tommy cart. All right, guys, that is a wrap on my Tommy Closet 2.0. This is my second tour that I have done since I first created this Tommy Closet. I hope you enjoy this. I know this is kind of like a personal style video for me because I don't really share tours of my house or anything much, but this is my my collection, something that I appreciate and adore and that I can want to continue building on. So. When I move, I will have another dedicated space for all my Tommy Hilfiger stuff, of course. And I would like to take you guys on the process as well for decorating that. So if you guys are interested in seeing the whole construction and um, just remodeling process of my new Tommy closet, please make sure you sign up in the comment section down below. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Again, hit the thumbs up button. Do not forget to follow the House of Hilfiger, which is my dedicated Tommy Hilfiger Instagram page where I post all my Tommy Hilfiger content. Also, please do me a favor and tag Tommy Hilfiger in this video because I don't know what else I need to do to get their attention to be in a campaign or to like solidly work with the company aside from just receiving a few products, which I'm extremely grateful for, but I really want to be in a campaign. I want like, I want to hang something on the wall of me being in something Tommy Hilfiger related. That is my goal. I want for that to happen so bad. And um, we're going to manifest it like we have been for the past five years. All right, you guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. And until next time, say thanks, give compliments and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.